Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com's training videos in Chief Architect. Today we're going to be talking about adding a simple soldier course brick line at the top of your walls. So the easiest way to do this, uh, normally you can just uh, create like a, um, a line around the building and you can simply convert that line into a molding and then change that molding into a shape and yada 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 and put it around the building. That's one way to do it. There's another way to do it that's even quicker I think and that is if you were to actually choose your roof planes you can make the freeze molding that uh, soldier course. So I'm going to go ahead and choose freeze molding, go into my moldings tab go down here to basic molding. I'm just going to grab a molding and I'm going to manipulate a little bit. I don't want it to be 5 eighths. I'm going to make it like a 16th of an inch by a good 6 inches high. And that should draw this molding around the roof for you. So with that done, I'm just going to move in here and see there's my molding. Now you'll notice it's way up at the top of the roof because these roofs are sloped. So what might make this better or easier is let's make this all a boxed ceiling roof. So that way it's all squared up because if I had the soldier course in here it's hard to see. But if I went over here and made everything a box Steve then my soldier course would be much easier to see. And there it is. Then I'll go to my spray can and usually with uh, Chief they have the brick pattern laid out in such a way that they give you these double patterns. This color also comes in this, this color also comes in this. That's very handy. Chief's done that so we can go ahead and choose that straight up and down molding and just apply it to there. And it might need a little bit of tweaking so remember to use your rainbow tool. Uh, this one's pretty far apart so I'm going to select it in the rainbow tool. Go to my texture tab and say forget stretch to fit. Let's just do it at 20 by 20 and see if that looks good. And if it's almost about the same size, let's just increase it a bit. I'm going to go, say, 30 by 30. Looks a little cleaner. And that's a simple soldier course right here at ChiefTutor.com. Hope you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to join ChiefTutor.com's uh, Prime membership where you can get all these videos and many, many more for a simple $100. I have hundreds of training videos in my Chief Architect library as well as hundreds and hundreds of symbols even probably even a thousand symbols and they're all high-end really good symbols and it doesn't matter which version of chief you have like if uh, let's see these are a lot of 14s but go down here there's some for 13 and even lower and if you have uh, uh, chief architect x let's say 13 then the x12s and up will work if you have chief 14 the x11s 12s 13s and 14s will work so these symbols become available for for your system if you have the latest version and say x14 then you can download any one of these symbols so all these symbols work for your chief architect version and of course the latest home designer version as well well thanks so much for watching the video and hope to talk to you guys again